Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Developers are breaking ground on a new health facility in Spencer that aims to integrate both physical and mental health care. In six months, this vacant lot in Spencer will be home to the Spencer Integrated Health Clinic that will merge Centerstone's behavioral and mental health facility with the Johnson Nichols Health Clinic. Centerstone officials say mental and physical illness often go hand in hand, and treating the two types of illnesses in different facilities means patients sometimes fall through the cracks and don't get the care they need. They say housing both kinds of treatment in the same building means patients receive more comprehensive care. The $1 million facility is scheduled to open early next year. Allowing same-sex couples to marry could provide a $39 million boost to Indiana's economy over the next three years, according to a recent report from the Williams Institute at the UCLA School of Law. The study indicates that if same-sex marriage was legalized, millions of dollars would be spent on wedding expenses, guest travel and tourism, and sales taxes. The UCLA study used self-reported census data from some 5,500 same-sex couples in Indiana living in a marriage-like arrangement to estimate the potential economic gains. And 50 acres of land alongside the Wabash River in Terre Haute will soon be turned into a new trail. The trail will span 1.7 miles from Fairbanks Park to I-70. Construction was delayed last year after the EPA called for hazardous material cleanup in the area. Once complete this fall, the trail will connect to the existing riverfront trail from US-40. Now, a quick check of the weather tonight. Rain and thunderstorms continue, lows down to 49. And in the five-day forecast on Thursday and Friday, a 40% chance of rain. Highs in the upper 50s, a bit warmer over the weekend, clearing out by Sunday. For WTIU News, I'm Joe Wren.